Workbox allows you to define who can launch workflow actions and move the workflow in the desired direction. It works really simple. If you have permissions to launch the action, you will see the action on the list of available actions. If you do not have the permission, you will not see the action. For example, in our case, Anna has a permissions to approve the vacation. I'm logged in as Pavel and he does not have permissions to approve. When he uses the drop down menu, the action approve is not visible. When we log in as Anna <coughs> and we use the drop down menu once more, you can see that she has the approve action available and she can approve the vacation and move the workflow to the next stage. Now I will explain how to configure action launch permissions. By default, Workbox gives everyone permissions to launch the action. In most cases, we would like to restrict action launch permissions to only a small number of users. Action launch permissions are assigned to workflow roles. We have two predefined workflow roles, all users and alter, and also one additional role, approver. Currently, the approve action can be launched by everyone. You can uh, check action permission by moving your mouse over the selected action. Roles with permissions to launch the action will be highlighted. All other roles will be grayed out. You can change action permissions in two ways. The simpler one is to drag and drop the role to the action. We'll give the approver rights to the approve action. If only the all users role was assigned to the action, then it will be automatically removed when you drag and drop another role. You can assign permissions for many roles to the same action. For example, let's allow author to launch the approve action as well. As you can see, now both the author and the approver can launch the approve action. Let's change that back so only the approver will be able to approve. We'll open the action properties window. There we have a permission button that opens the action permission window. You can see who has permissions to the action and who does not. To remove permissions for launching the action, you just need to uncheck the checkbox. Now you can see that only the approver has rights to launch the action. Action launch permissions are verified when the user views the item context menu or the item view form on the action launch activity or when using the web service to connect to Warbox. Action permissions are ignored by the self-timer. This means that you don't need to add permissions for the system account to launch the action by self-timer. On the other hand, you need to grant the permissions uh, for, this, uh, for the system account when launching the action from outside the workflow with activity from another workflow or with a web service.